hey guys welcome to programming made easy so in today's video we would be setting up our live chat agent in salesforce so let's understand the need of our live chat agent so salesforce web chat connects our customers directly with your support agents this helps to provide quick responses as well as to help the customer wherever they are stuck right so our chat consists of your three main parts first is your chat then is the embedded service and third is the omni channel so basically what is the chat is the uh, way of communicating between the agent as well as the customer embedded service is the way by which your chat uh, that chat pop up is visible on your community side right and omni channel is the way by which your support agents can connect with your uh, customers so now let's move ahead and navigate to our salesforce so in here uh, what we would be go going to do is we would be going for our service setup and if you could see in our um, experience cloud side we don't have any chat yet so let me open my builder so this is what we had left previously and today if you see we don't have any chat uh, buttons in here so that our internal agents or um, uh, could connect with my customers right so i what i would be doing is i would be going to my service setup and in here i would be going via the recommended setup and i will be clicking on view all there would be option called chat with customers so you could just write in here chat with customers and this window would appear right so what it would uh, suggest you that first you need to have a chat queue so basically it is a queue that would hold your chats and until they are routed to your team right so again it is a basically a normal queue uh, that you create so let me just give it any name so let me give it a live chat queue amazon right and this group is the name of your chat team so it is used to uh, check or let's see that the name of this group of users we also use this to name the presence configuration and chat button so let's give this name amazon group amazon chat group okay let me just give this name as amazon chat group for now i have just one people let me add this so now it is the uh, this window helps us to determine the uh, chat workload that a agent can handle right so this is the work item size so that is the amount of agent capacity that one work item from live agent queue amazon consumes so one work is equal to your five and agent can handle up to a capacity of 20 um, chat simultaneously if you see in that way right so moving further so it needs the url of our website right so we have our website let's copy the url for this website and just paste in here right and that is there we are good to go with our website now it would say that link chat with other objects in salesforce so we could link chat with leads we could link with chats uh, and uh, cases and contacts or just contact so we would go with case and contacts right uh, this is the thing like let's suppose uh, if our team is busy so we could have an option for offline support what it would do is if we enable this it would log a case on behalf of the user so we can provide them with field like subject and email and if you want we could change the field also and we can add a new field also based upon our requirement that what we want to process in here so if we want we can if you don't want that is up to us right so let me do a next and it would finish up this uh, chat so what it did is it gave me a code of my uh embedded services so here i could just play with this code and just uh, do the changes that i want in the text or color or other things let me just 
do done and that is okay now let me just uh, explain you about embedded service deployments if we search via embedded service deployment uh, you would be seeing the amazon chat group has been created so this is the group that i was telling you about the name that we gave and if we search for uh, queues uh, we had amazon uh, okay let me view this page in classic so this was the queue for our amazon um, thing right so in this queue what is there is what is the supported object is the uh, chat transcript right and the users in this, in this queue uh, is uh, in here one user only right so that is in here now let me show you one thing that is omni channel so i told you that what is omni channel is a way by which you can uh, your users can connect with your agents so that uh, if they need any help they could reach out to them so you need to enable omni channel if that is not enabled right skill based routing we would be an understanding in some next videos because for this video i just want to set up a context in understanding the normal uh, uh, embedded chat in your salesforce community now our part is done this was simple point and click part let me just refresh my site now what i would do here is uh, nothing came right now we have a component called chat or if you could search via live chat nothing would come embedded services also won't come if you search by chat so embedded service chat would come and it would come under support there is nothing called live chat that would be an embedded service chat only and for now let's suppose i am dragging this component in here right and now what it is saying is this is the chat deployment and we are having some uh, um, errors right access is violated some csp errors we are getting right so we would res be resolving them also so your organization could be having multiple chat deployments but you need to check the group that you created so uh, that the name of that group uh, would uh, resemble in here the, uh, display the chat button and fill in the pre chat fields so chat with an expert right or chat with an agent you could say and uh, these are the other things that um, based upon your requirements you could have right now if you see this button is coming like agent offline right now if now we have set, uh, done everything right but why it is not coming uh, that uh, chat with an agent right so why it is not coming because let's go to our service console and in here what we have to do is we have to enable our omni channel right see currently your omni channel is offline so if it is offline it won't be accepting any uh, thing right and now i have made it available so what what happens here is if i make it available it should come as uh, chat with an agent but again it's not coming right but if you remember we had some issues that were coming up right if we see in our uh, security and privacy we had uh, some things called that this resource has been blocked because of our lightning security understood and uh, uh, this was the error that we were getting so how to resolve this see your just site is using strict csp which blocks access to all external javascript resources either remove the resources or lower the uh, uh, this security level so what we have to do is we have to relax our csp policies in this case and if we relax this we could see that our lightning rocker is enabled uh, now we have a option that what we need to do with this particular uh, resource and i want to allow this because this is for my live chat agent understood once i add it as a part of trusted site you could see in here that chat with an agent is coming right chat with an agent is coming and if i do just a preview we 
we can see that chat with an agent is there so let's say my email is testing this one two three or this and need help with solar panel and start chatting so it would trigger a uh, omni channel uh, chat in here and if i click this so my chat between me and the customer started right so this is the chat transcript object over which you could see the conversation hi i need help with solar panels right and this thing went in here right and if i do sure okay and i just wrote as a sure and it the data it displayed in here so in this way it helps us to create things one more thing is there that when we uh, uh, enable this uh, chat before this there was a free chat window where we added the things that but that person uh, needed help with so what it did is it created a case with priority this this and uh, your agents can see the things in here like if any other agent needs to take over this chat you can uh, see out the thing so if you end the chat you would see that chat is ended by agent and if you end the chat from here uh, for that particular person it would say that chat is ended by the customer so in this way you could also check that what is the efficiency of your agents who ended the chat and you could also check out if there are any uh, uh, some uh, mismanagement in the team that uh, agents are not handling the customer inquiries um, correctly so everything you could manage from here right in the further coming videos we would be talking uh, about this in more detail so thanks for watching if you have any concerns in here do let me know i would be able to help your doubts